the Mongo. The 750 meter high mountain dominates the town of Havea. Here, in 1989, three members of the Gata Caving Center discovered the existence of a mysterious cave located in the middle of the ravine traditionally called Barranque del Michtia, or Midday Canyon. They didn't know then to have discovered an important, more than 5,000 years old archaeological site. Located about 375 meters above sea level, the cave is difficult to reach and to access it is necessary to climb 12 to 40 meters of limestone rock. This almost horizontal cavity has three openings. The most accessible is the middle entrance facing east. It opens into a small passage about 12 meters long called the entrance gallery. This corridor leads to a small room called the central chamber. Three galleries originate from here. The gallery on the right, which is called the burial gallery, is very narrow, difficult to access and has been partially excavated. The left gallery is much longer and leads directly to a small opening onto the sunny cliffs of the Mongo. From here, a third narrow central gallery leads to the widest space of the cave, called the Chamber of Paintings. This cavity opens directly on the southern cliffs of the Mongo, at a height of 40 meters, overlooking a vast area of the Javea Valley. It is here that numerous schematic black and red paintings are visible on the limestone walls and ceiling. Several fragments of pottery and human bones were also found on the cave. On subsequent visits, various bundles containing the bones of more than one individual were found, showing that the site was also a burial cave from prehistoric times. Further studies of the human bones revealed the age of death to be no more than 40 for adults and between 1 and 5 for infants, with signs of osteoarthritis, hyperostasis, diffuse idiopathic skeleton and oral diseases. Fragments of a copper chisel. a primitive flint tool, an arrowhead with a concave base, a ceramic fragment, and hemispherical handmade pottery vessel with a straight-edged rim turning inwards.
The black paintings show small figurative and symbolic motives, painted in thick black pigment with a well-formed outline made with some sort of brush. Schematic representations of animals' forms can be identified as quadrupeds, probably domestic sheep or goats, arranged in different groups. The red paintings form a single motif comprising three diamonds joined at their horizontal vertices and also applied directly with the fingers in isolated groups of simple short vertical bars. The archaeological material collected in the cave is clearly associated with a human daily life, whether cultural, religious or economic, and is linked to material things, objects, weapons and symbols. An example of a natural group of persons aiming to fulfill the purpose of life through mutual cooperation in life and